How many of you actually program your warm-ups yourself? You write the warm-up every single day. How many of you guys actually take your clients through the program and lead it? Yeah, I used to do a combination of both. I actually used to, to take my athletes through it and some days I would let them do it on their own based upon the difficulty of the workout and what I was trying to achieve. There are those moments where unfortunately you get people into the gym and somebody brand new walks in and the warm-up's on the board and I got a newbie and I now I've got to get that liability waiver and try to get everybody squared away and you may have to take some, some time to make that thing happen. But the bulk of what we could possibly see when it comes to gaining those skills is by using our warm-up to go ahead and do those things. Work on those double unders, work on the muscle-ups. How many of you have people in your gym that don't have muscle-ups? Yeah, how many of your people don't have double unders? How many of your people don't have triple unders? Like all of us, right? Yeah. Those are opportunities where we can do things other than just running and rowing to get our heart rates up. Potentially we could take the warm-up and now work on that snatch, knowing that in our programming it's coming up next week. So now we work on the Bergner warm-up two, three days this week, and now it's not such a foreign idea when it comes time for us to teach the snatch, okay? And the seven by one now turns into 20 minutes worth of PVC and barbell work, and now we really get a true seven by one because we've used our time effectively to instruct and bring our clients up to speed on the movement and the movement pattern, okay?